Hi, welcome to Reena's YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about arithmetic progressions. An arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. The fixed number is called the common difference of an arithmetic progression. It can be positive, negative or zero. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Here each term is one more than the term proceeding in it. In second example, 100, 7, 70, 40, 10 and etc. Here each term is 30 less than the term preceding it. See, let the first term of an arithmetic progression by A1, second term by A2, then nth term of A, nth term by An and the common difference by D. Then the arithmetic progressions becomes A1, A2, A3 up to An. So, a2 minus a1 equal to a3 minus a2 equal to up to etc. an minus an minus 1 equal to d. The general form of an arithmetic progression is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d. Represent an arithmetic progression where a is the first term and d is the common difference. Finite arithmetic progressions. If the arithmetic progression has finite numbers of terms, then it is called finite arithmetic progressions. This AP has the last term, infinite arithmetic progressions. If the AP has infinite numbers of terms, then it is called infinite AP. This AP cannot have a last term. Next, nth term of an AP. Let A1, A2, A3 be an arithmetic progression whose first term A1 is a A and the common difference is D. Then the second term A2 equal to A plus D which is equal to A plus 2 minus 1 into D. The third term A3 equal to A2 plus D equal to A plus D plus D which is equal to A plus 3 minus 1 into D. Fourth term A4 equal to A3 plus D which is equal to A plus 4 into minus 1 into D and so on. The nth term of A to the base N equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So the nth term A to the base N of arithmetic progression with the first term A and the common difference D is given by a to the base n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. A to the base n is also called the general form of arithmetic progression. If there are m terms in the AP, then represent the lost term which is sometimes also denoted by L. Next, we will see about sum of first n terms of an AP. See the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression A, A plus D. The nth term of this arithmetic progression is a plus n minus 1 into d. Let us denote the sum of the first n terms of a arithmetic progression. We have s equal to a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d etc. Then a plus n minus 1 into d. Rewriting the terms in reverse order s equal to a plus n minus 1 into d plus a plus n minus 2 into d plus etc. And the last term are a plus d plus a. Adding these two terms, we know when we add the number sequence and the reversed number sequence, we get the same number in number of times. Example, s equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 100. s equal to 100 plus 99 plus 98 up to 3 plus 2 plus 1. 2s equal to 101 plus 101 up to 100 times. Similarly, 2s equal to 2a plus n minus 1 into d plus 2a plus n minus 1 into d etc. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. 2s equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d since there are n terms. Therefore, s equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d. The sum of the first n term is given by s equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 minus d which is equal to n by 2 a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. Therefore, s equal to n by 2 a plus a to the base n. Then if there are only n terms in an arithmetic progression, then a n equal to L which is the lost term. Then s equal to n by 2 into a plus l.